Hey everybody, Rachel with DV Allies. Today I want to talk about um, something that I heard from one of my interviewees is one of the most important ways that she felt supported. Um, she said, I know I can't understand because I've never been there. And her commentary on that was, it takes a weight off when someone says that. I think it's human nature to want to connect on certain things and try to be like, oh gosh, I know exactly what you're talking about because this one time I experienced whatever, or my friend went through this, or I saw it on a movie, or what, I know exactly what you mean. Spoiler, no you don't. You weren't there. You weren't in her home. You weren't in her relationship. You don't know exactly. And to be honest, even if you have similar situations yourself, that's okay. And maybe at some point in the conversation, once trust and rapport has been built, there may be an appropriate time to say, hey, you know, I had a situation similar to that. Would you like me to share it with you? And we can talk about it, talk about the similarities. That would be okay, right? So if you ask for permission and say, hey, is it okay if we talk about this? But when she's pouring her heart out and she might be yelling and angry about what happened, she might be crying for you to step in and say, oh, I know exactly what you mean. That really points the story at you. And that's not the point. That's not what we're doing right now. What we're doing is supporting her and letting her talk and have that safe place to just say what she needs to say and share what's going on with her. So quick one today. Um, just, just a little, little tip on what to say. I know I can't understand because I've never been there and maybe followed up with, but I'm here for you. You're safe with me. Do you need a hug? I can't understand because I've never been there, but I'm happy to listen. I'm happy to be a sounding board. Thank you. Have a great day.